Yo, what's good? It's BMAR, and you're watching Cloudy Conversations. Like when it comes to music and like art and like life and decisions, you have to kind of listen to the universe, you know. But yeah, the Adina man for sure was a dope feature, and Terrell Brown was also on that record. That's my boy too. He's a local artist from Carlisle. He's dope. And what was the overall response for that project? Uh, the Vault. Yeah, I think people. I, it was more like a a compilation like so like did they appreciate you giving all the singles in one yeah. place i would say yeah yeah it was like a reappreciation mm -hmm. like oh word like he dropped okay cool i remember listening to this in the summer like i remember listening to that shit last january that's pretty sick that he dropped that shit again it felt like a homecoming almost like you know what i mean yeah i must say it's kind of smart because like you said you dropped something at this top of the year that might have really went crazy but it ain't hit yeah. right until the winter time came and now yeah. i was like yo my heart is a little broken i do feel this like so i definitely understand yeah um i seen you were up in new york well you, you frequent there a lot and yeah. you were at like a showcase performance you had something going on up there yeah yeah yeah. that was um let's say no october no late october early november that was a showcase in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. I want to say. I must say, I'm pretty sure you were in Brooklyn, yeah. from what I can remember from the stories. Yeah, definitely, yeah. I'm, I'm always there, so I'm like, no pun intended, my head's cloudy, bro. I'm like, <laughs> I like that. You know? Um, but yeah, I was in Brooklyn, did a show, uh, hung out with the homies, man, rocked out. With I did that with, what was a company, man? I forgot. I'm not even trying to play myself. It's okay. Straight up forgot, but it was awesome. It was a great event. Met some dope artists. and um, I'm always in New York, man. I'm always in the city, so... Tap in if you're in New York, for sure. Are you open to doing like any of the showcases they be having around here? Absolutely, man. Uh, if I find one that's uh, fitting for me and I'm comfortable with, with mm -hmm. the right artist that I feel like would be organic and not like forceful, I'll do it. Um, there's hella artists out here I respect, dude. Like Finagle. Yeah. You know Finagle. Yeah. Genre. Yeah. Dope as hell. Um, dude. God, I forgot my homie's name, bro. Uh, Cross Irwin, man. I never worked with him I before. Heard of Cross him. is ill. Me and him are supposed to work, but I'm so fucking indecisive. I need to pick the song. Yeah, you tripping. He's waiting. Yeah, I am I, tripping. He's gonna see this. I'm like, yeah, bro. I'm still waiting. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be in the comments like, what the fuck, man? But you know, I'm I'm one of those. I want it to be right. I don't want to. I don't want to rush it just to do it. Understandable. But, but hell yeah, I'm definitely down to do a show around here. It just has to feel. Like I'm welcome. I can't just just show up just to show up. Jump in, you know. Mm -hmm. I want to do. I want to do the event service. I don't want to take away from it, you know. Which is respectable. Like you said, you always approach everything with a a sense of level headedness and like, okay, does this make sense? Not just to try to do it. So it only makes sense to still have that approach when it comes to performing and, and yeah. collaborations. Yeah. Um, but let's get into the new project. Yes. All right. <clears throat> The title, uh, I have it up here. If we, well, when you always have crazy titles, if you ask me, because it's like, I got to think about that. Yeah. This new upcoming project, which you're releasing on March 20th, no, March 14th? 15th. 15th, sorry, March nah, 15th. You're good. You're good. Um, and it's entitled, If You Don't Change, You Choose. So tell us a little bit more about that title. Yeah. And it's self explanatory, you know, like, you don't change what you're doing. You're choosing to be in the same situation. I'm gonna say, what are, I'm gonna say, what are we choosing though? Because what's the choice, like? Yeah. And that that's that's up to us. It depends what you want, you know. Um, this album is really self therapeutic. It was really just self healing for me. Mm -hmm. It's self it's self healing on wax. It's really just what I was going through. And when people hear that, I know they might be like, "Oh man, this motherfucker's preaching. He's talking about nah." It's the no, chaos. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's the chaos within it. It's it's me making the wrong decisions. It's me thinking I'm making the right one. It's me making the right one. It's bliss. It's chaos. It's it's everything a human goes through when they're trying to really heal. And there's a lot of friction when you're trying to heal. There's a lot of distractions. There's a lot of influence. Um, if you don't change your shoes, was really just uh, a journal of self healing and just looking at yourself and being like at the end of the day you realize you will never always you won't always change everything you need to mm -hmm. it's an ongoing process but the fact that you can still think the fact that you have this concept in your head empowers you more to to grow and to choose the right things so it's really just self-healing and self-love 
and forgiving yourself and um, realizing wherever you're at in life, bro, as long as you're accountable and as long as you're real with yourself, you got the right circle, then I think you'll be, I think you'll be all right, you know? Do you feel like this is going to be your best album to date compared to like everything you gave, gave us thus far? Definitely. Definitely. Um, just because I was more vulnerable, wasn't afraid. A lot of my records back then, I touch on topics, but I wouldn't go in depth to the point where it was personal. Like, I was uncomfortable making this. Mm. Like, I was getting like, should I even put that? Like, well, I think one of the joints, I'm crying on it. Mm. You know, like, um, Don't Want to Die Young. The joint, the first single that's coming out uh, in February, 6th, February 16th, I think, the video drops. Yeah, I had to like, you know, I had to ask myself, you sure you want to share that? You sure you want to, I'm talking about abortion, I'm talking about a lot of things. And it's like, that's therapeutic. Mm -hmm. When you hear that, after you went through the whole chapter, it's empowering. It lets you know, okay, you're still standing, dude. You don't have to be embarrassed. You don't have to lie. You don't have to put on a front. It's what it is. Like you said, it kind of releases you know? the, the anxiety and the nervous thoughts that come yeah. with it. Like. Because like you said, everybody goes through stuff. Everybody has a story like that they might not want somebody to know. But taking the, the power back is speaking, you know, yeah. speaking and not feeling no no shame from it. Because like you said, yeah, everything's a healing process. Everything's a journey. It's like the Eminem 8 Mile. Like, I'm going to tell you what's wrong with me. So you or can't tell you, you can't me. use it, you know. And how long did it take to put this actual project together? This one took about a year and three months year and year and a half year and some change and that's um, from the time you decided it's time to make a new album or from yeah. like when you literally start recording i had two records and then i had a conversation with my cousin and he was just like yo if you don't change you choose and i was like yeah that's what we got to do <laughs> <laughs> it so, works out i'm telling you it just comes man like you think you know i'm over here thinking of some crazy ass extra title he tells me that. I'm like, huh, okay. <laughs> that That's what yeah, it is. It really just came to you. you know? And why, what, what about the process? Do you feel like, do you not rush it? Or is it taking a year and some change because you literally do everything, like the production yeah. and all that? That for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that for fucking sure. Um, but also, I, like you said, I don't want to rush it. I want to mm -hmm. make sure it's right. It was supposed to come out in January. Supposed to drop in December. Mm. Now we're in March. I just don't want to play myself. Understandable. It's a gut feeling. It's like, you know when it's done, you know. I just finished it last a week and a half ago. I made the outro like a week and a half ago. I had another outro. You know what I'm saying? Are you sure you're done? Like, you still got to March. I'm done. <laughs> I got a deluxe. So we got a deluxe coming just in case, you know, I start thinking different. But, yeah, it's it's a gut feeling, man. It's intuition. Like, you just know. You just You just know, you know. No, I definitely understand, and I'm looking forward to it just from the couple songs that you sent us. Um, I'm excited. I'm not going to lie. I'm very excited for people to hear this. I actually want to play a couple songs for the people, just a little brief snippets. Work. So they give them something to listen to. Oh, yeah. Um, you can choose which ones you want. You got the speaker already hooked up, so that worked out. Perfect. Um, and yeah, guys, we're going to give you some exclusive uh, looks and listen to some tracks from his upcoming album if you don't change you choose dropping on march 15th yeah let's go with um let's do let's do the uh what was oh what's the, i always keep think, forgetting the title thanks i get yeah thanks yeah, i get i was about to say thanks for nothing that would be hard too though that would have right. made sense <laughs> let's do that one Me up to my highest and drive me gently. Got me thinking, why the fuck will you go text me? I can this shit up on my brain just like I'm gently. I was down for some months and I never come through. You hit my phone just to fuck me, so now it's fuck you. I drink the pain away. I fuck the pain away. If I win every night, I'm sipping tangerine. Yeah. Excuse my irresponsible actions. They kept me feeding flesh instead of chasing my passions. I'm not too good with ending, so excuse me for asking. This to happen, why did you bring all the madness, girl? Now I'm feeling right, I'm staying down, healing right I can't do no drama, sorry, mama, I won't feel the fight I'm in a new place, I get in my suitcase I hit the road and chase my goals and find a new way That's the things I get I guess that's the things I get 
That's just the things I get. For y'all, I love y'all. I love y'all, but we gotta just give you a little something to the album drop. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Should we give them one more? It's up to you. Let's let's give them one more. I, I love the fans. I mean, you know, we we've been away for a minute. We'll give them one more if I can get some more wine. <laughs> Listen, it's your wine. It's, it's a Bmar interview, man. Come Here on. Here you go. <laughs> Take Toast it up, dude. Six bucks at Wise, man. You, you can't, can't beat that. <laughs> you cannot beat this, bro. Come on. You can't beat I'm not even trying to stunt. Nah, we out here with the, the nah. expensive bottles. Nah, dude, $6 at Wise, bro. <laughs> I ain't need Buy you two of these. <laughs> I'm going to say, you don't even got to pay yourself. I'm going to say, that two of them bottles get you lit. You be chilling. <laughs> you feel me? Super rocked. Get in the stew and start cooking, bro. Don't do too much. Just chill, you know? But yeah, we can play another one. Let's play... Um, Let's play uh, Don't, don't Want to Die Young. Yes. Yeah, See, I knew we was on the same page. We're on the same vibe, bro. Let's do that. We'll play. We'll play the first, first verse and like into the hook. Let's go. And this is dropping in March. I mean February anyway, so they'll hear it. Oh yeah. So yeah, let's do it. Hell yeah. Yeah. You listen to the whole song, right? Mm -hmm. You hear the guitar solo at the end. Bro, that's what I'm telling you. Like when I was like, see, it's always I love when people send me great songs and I can listen to it before it comes out. So proud of that shit, man. <laughs> Video's coming soon, so y'all will hear the full thing, plus a visual. And um, it's a movie. We directed it, wrote the script, so Gutter Rose Films, you know what I mean? We're coming through. Tell us a little bit about the visual concept for yeah. that video. Yeah, absolutely. The video, the visual concept is, um, you know, a lot of my childhood, a lot of VHS tapes, rest in peace, Nana, my sister, Brianna, always. Um, you know, just talking about, it relates to her, because she did pass young, but also relates to a lot of these kids, man. They don't want to... They don't want to take their life. They don't want to go through a lot of stuff, you know. So it's I wanted to empathize with just the people who, and I feel like that too sometimes. I feel like, damn, like we all feel low at some point. So I wanted to make something that is just like an anthem. You you can also, I wanted to make something that was like, you know what, I do feel sometimes I don't want to be here. But at the same time, let me empower you mm -hmm. and let you know I feel like this too. And um, I think that's powerful because you never want to preach to somebody and tell them to do the opposite. Why not empathizing with them? It's kind of inconsiderate. You don't know what they're going through. I understand. So I wanted to make something where I let people know, look, I feel that too. I deal with that all the time. But at the same time, man, there's light on the side. Just don't don't stop. Don't give up. 
because only God knows what he has planned for you and you don't want to play God and cut yourself short. So anybody ever going through that, going through that mental cycle, those thoughts, man, just stay on the path, bro. And um, love yourself and be around the right people, you know? I completely agree. And I always appreciate having conversations with you because it's never just, of course, we can talk about the music, we can talk about just anything, honestly, but yeah. the conversations always gear itself and pretty much we always talk about some real shit, which is what I'm yeah. here to do. That's what Cloudy Conversations yeah. is here for, not just to, you know, talk about pop culture or anything. Most times you guys probably are just being introduced to these guests uh, for the first time, but... Um, I hope after you know watch the interviews and you get to hear their point of view, go check out their music and you actually become a fan because I do um, try to only put people in a platform where I actually relate to or I uh, mm. respect your craft enough to want to promote Word. that. And you're definitely one of them people, um, which is why I love the fact that you hit me up to come back for you know the second round. And like yeah. I said, we've been we've been away for some time, so I know the fans have been waiting and yeah. I couldn't think of a better opportunity to. Um, you know, you introduce them back to Cloudy Conversations. Yeah. So, um, in our last remarks, anything you want to leave the fans with uh, in regards to the project, life itself? Yeah. Overall. Yeah, man. If you don't change, you choose March 15th. Uh, take this project as uh, a guide, man. Take it as a template to your life. It's, it's for everybody. It's for myself, first and foremost, but implement it in your everyday life and your everyday decisions. And before you decide to choose something, you know, analyze it and think about it. And I want people to understand, too, you know, it's a concept and all that, but it's great music. It's great music. And I would never sell myself short. I'll never sell y'all short. We're making good music. Yeah, it's a concept, <laughs> but we're, we're doing that. You know what I'm saying? We're, 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 we're hitting that level. We're hitting that, that, that threshold and that mark. We're making timeless stuff. We're making stuff you can turn up to. We're making everything, you know. So learn, but also... Enjoy it. Live with it, man. Turn up. Have fun. Live your life. Don't stress over the little shit, man. You know, but also know yourself. The more you know yourself and the more you're in tune with yourself, the more you can enjoy yourself and be free. Don't ever put yourself in a box. You know what I mean? Just enjoy your life, man. And God bless. That's all I got to say. For real. Appreciate you. Like I 315, said. 3.15. If you don't change, you choose. Yes, yes, yes. Stay, stay on the lookout for that album. When it drops, definitely go give it. A couple spins, couple downloads, purchase it on all platforms, however you want to support. Yes. We appreciate greatly. When this interview drops, spam the comments, share, share, share. You'll see a couple of exclusive things. Like we said, we gave you some music, so you never know uh, what could come next. Yeah. Um, it's your girl, Big T, Cloudy Conversations, B-Mar. We appreciate you. Love, man.